Calgary, Alberta is home to renowned museums full of extraordinary artifacts with secrets just waiting to be discovered. It's about creating something that has meaning to bridge a gap into our past. My Blackfoot name is Prairie Woman. My name is Albertine Crowshoe. I'm a jeweler artist. Everything animate and inanimate has a spirit and we're all connected. When I think about the word artifact, it's just like for people who aren't here anymore. The things that are in the collection, they're still being used today in our everyday lives. So when they come back out, they come back alive. How does a renowned museum with a vast collection of items with historical and spiritual significance bridge the past and present and give voice to a vibrant culture? The Glenbow Museum is packed to the gills with objects that are historical, that are contemporary. We have an enormous collection amassed over 50 years. As I've been thinking about what museums are for, I think it's for keeping the things safe that are meaningful to our community and not just safe, but usable and accessed and interacted with. The Glenbow Museum's Artist in Residence program selects renowned artists from around the world and gives them access to collections, seeking inspiration to create new works of art. I received a call from Glenbow. It came at a time in my life where I was really at a crossroads. I had just lost my husband. I didn't know if I was going to continue as a jeweler. Um, and so when I got the call from Glenbow, it was an acknowledgement for me as an artist. And it also gave me an opportunity to share the Blackfoot way of life. I spent over a period of eight months here and it was those visits and then going back home and, and reflecting and talking to, to different people about things that I saw. This yellow here, this is, this is a greasy yellow, this one here. This is also a very old bead. It's like a treasure when you find them. One item in collections gave Albertine some ancestral inspiration for her own designs. Her great-grandfather, Bullplume, maintained a winter count that recorded major events over a period of time in Blackfoot history through small pictographs. Each one of those pictures are images that tell our stories. They carry with it uh, who we are, the things that we believe in. It was started in, in 1764, and it was passed on to him, and he carried it on. Of course, that's the magic of the Artist in Residence program is that all these sort of sparks of, of connections can happen. Our connections to the land, our connections to the things that we believe in, our, our ways of life. So it's all divided up into pieces that I, I thought were important for the public to see. I wanted to show the influence the horse had for us and how important it was and how it changed our lives. I had a dream. And in my dream, I, I dreamt about the horse mask. When I woke up, I, I drew it out and I had it covered up um, and I showed my family and, and when I uncovered it, it just hit me because it was just really powerful, like really striking, yeah, yeah. I shocked myself. <laughs> Not only are we exhibiting her new work that she created based on her experience working with the collection, we're also exhibiting side by side the objects that inspired each piece, allowing us to pull out some of those objects that have not been seen and use them in a really compelling way. The pieces in the collection are still alive for us. They found a home. The title of the exhibit is Sitsuke Tsitabisin Sokyos Kunodapi Kibatabisin and it's the Blackfoot way of life is still strong. People are looking for genuine experiences and connection with the world. When you come to Glenbow, we hope that you'll turn a corner and find something that makes you feel alive.